Can we go ahead and do that? And are we live? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, ah! didn't get that anyway. Okay, so uh, the first item on the agenda is the uh, financial update. And that's me. Uh, so I'll hand it off to me. And uh, so we had uh, about donations in the donation box. We had about $74 in there, $20 uh, for the table saw in addition, $16 for the laser. Uh, the miniature painting class brought in uh, $70 this uh, mm -hmm. past month, which is mm -hmm. excellent. Um, and we've had no membership changes in the last month, but apparently we have achieved a equilibrium of some sort for at least one month, uh, in which it leaves us at the uh, same 125 members uh, that we had last month. Hey guys, there's chairs over here if anybody wants to share the whole stack of them. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to sit down and see what I'm saying. I'm going to actually read this and say, that. <coughs> so, uh, the uh, next item on the agenda is the uh, quarterly cleanup and warehouse update. You missed one night there. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, did you put it in the... Uh, oh, sorry. I got it. Oh, uh, the, um, and the, the MoFo money. Or, I'm sorry, Maker Fro <laughs> 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 Um <laughs> So uh, we actually we received we got our payment from um, Maker Fair Orlando for doing the uh, learn to solder and for what we sold and that was a it was a thousand dollars that uh, Maker Fair Orlando uh, gave us or, uh, for the uh, running the uh, learn to solder tables and I was just trying to look up what the exact number was and 164. 164. I couldn't remember it's 146, 164. It was a uh, $164 uh, dollars for the uh, various uh, kits that we sold at Maker Faire. So that is excellent. Uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, having not skipped over that, it is now on to the quarterly cleanup and warehouse update. Uh, we need to schedule a date for the uh, quarterly cleanup, and this is basically where we go around and try to figure out what doesn't need to be out there anymore, what is really trash, um, get it sorted out in a uh, methodical way that doesn't um, it doesn't anger people uh, or <laughs> angers as few people as possible. Um, one of those things. So uh, there's uh, let's see what do we have on here. Um, there's obviously, there's, well, a couple of things that have been coming up on Slack that we've been uh, talking about, uh, but they're, they're having some issues with. One is the, uh, the dust in the warehouse, um, mostly caused by the, in the wood type area. Um, so, uh, I'm not sure we have that as an item. Was there anything else to add to that? I'll jump in. Yeah. Thank you. So, one of the things we're working on is getting the pallet rack up. Obviously, it's been going up. It looks awesome. And with that, we're getting dust collection up. So, the woodworking area will have dust collection so that when you're working on dust, using a router, using the saws, you can suck the dust right up. Um, the and, and it goes with the quarterly cleanup. We're kind of putting the pallet rack, going through the pallet rack as we go. Um, thank you to Chris, Kyle, Rob, who else am I missing? Mechalik, Blackheart, who have been kind of taking on that task. And our welding group. And okay. welding group, Craig and me. Yeah, yeah that <laughs> um, And we're, we're trying to keep everyone notified on Slack. We have our warehouse underscore upgrades channel that we're kind of posting in so that if you're not able to make it out a lot, you're still able to, sorry, it's all a blur of letter. <laughs> you're still able to see what's going on. We had a little bit of confusion because some stuff got moved. Um, and part of that is I've kind of taken over the shop czar position so that I can kind of because I know a lot of what's out there and like what should and shouldn't move. Um, but stop. Upgrades. Yay! Thank you to everyone who's been working hard. And if you're not working hard, then it's just Yeah, and if you if you do want to help, 
keep an eye on the warehouse upgrades channel and we can they're, they're posting when they're planning on being up here and working <coughs> each of them Sundays I think right so this, so this weekend it looks like um, uh, for those of you who are less than fully employed um, we'll be here Friday we'll be here Friday and then probably Saturday afternoon as well. okay. and if you do have stuff in the warehouse tools materials uh, as always you know the standard is make sure that they're clearly labeled so we don't mess with your stuff be respectful of the collective space because um, it may be fairly merciless when we go through to see what belongs and what doesn't so please label your stuff as yours Thank yes, you, not just the top four of stack here. Somebody moved the top four of stack, and then it was a label they were possibly just getting consumed by something. If you have a lot of stuff that is staying here, like welding gear or whatnot, get a bin. Like the welding, we have the pallet rack there now, and we have space for bins. Like some people have their own helmets, their own gloves, their own whatever safety equipment. We can find room for it, get it in a bin of some type, not just like, oh, this is my mask laying around, these are my gloves, because it's a community space, we use community tools, um, and we don't want to discourage people from having their own stuff, but we also need to know what is yours and what is family. Yes, yes, Brian, exactly. what is your idea? For like the protective equipment in the living room, Okay, so they had lockers a long time ago, and there were some issues because not everyone can have a locker eventually. And then, oh, but so and so gets a locker, but I don't get a locker. And then it, it, it spiral <laughs> out of control very quickly. And lockers, lockers take up a lot of horizontal space, they can't be put up on a rack. Like the, the bins can get put up on a rack that's six feet off the ground, whereas the locker needs a wall of space. Or, or take it home. I mean, once you become a member of the team, you get one bin that you want. Yeah, you can do it here, you can take it home. Yeah. Take it back and forth. You get as many as you want, you have one here. Yeah, and, and only have stuff here if you're using it a lot. Like, obviously, if you're using the CNC mill a lot, you're, it's a lot of stuff to take home and bring back and take home and bring back. I, I kind of understand it because I have a lot of stuff that's a really pain in the ass to take in and out of the car if I'm here working on a project for three weeks. But I'm but also be considerate of the space of others. Don't leave it sprawled all over the metal shop. Not and no one's really done that in the metal shop. The wood shop uh, people are good about labeling their stuff usually with big projects. Be considerate to others. Shared space. Don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. Don't make us put that in writing. Don't be a dick. Oh, sorry. It's currently a in order thing about my desk. <laughs> <laughs> Our number one rule is being awesome to each other, which implies don't be a dick. So backspace or just strike through? Strike through. Uh, <laughs> strike through. Uh, there was. Um, coming soon. We are going to have composition notebooks on each of the big tools, like the the CNC, the four x four CNC, the mills, the welding, to have a maintenance log for them. Um, we did that way back when, and just so people can kind of keep up, see what maintenance has been done lately. If people are the type to that are comfortable doing regular maintenance, by all means, please do. Just don't do it if you're not sure. There is a wiki too, but you can get access to an update to the Yes. So it's as. And Dan has been working on a uh, sheet that we're going to print out and have laminated for each tool with a what this tool is, what this tool does, what to what this tool doesn't do, what you shouldn't do with this <laughs> tool, and what, like other tidbits per tool. Yeah, the how to clean up when you're done. Yeah, the boss is not a table saw. Yeah, the basic idea was there were some, some tools that got misused, probably not because anybody intended to do something wrong, but probably just because they didn't know you're not supposed to do this particular thing with this particular tool. And this is an idea, it was actually, it was actually uh, Meckler's uh, suggestion originally about having basically a nice laminated card 
It has very basic instructions. It's not a manual on how to use a machine, but just the don't do this, do you do this, clean up when you're done type thing that gets you left on the machine, on the work surface, so that the next person that comes along can't possibly use the machine without at least touching the card and then hopefully <laughs> doing it. Yes. The standard for tables, for example, belt size, or like a stand size. Yeah. 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 Okay. That, that's uh, that's a fantastic idea. I am going to make a uh, note of that. Um, and the the same on the on the work surface. That's got to be tethered to the tool somehow. Yes. They'll walk away. That's uh, the point. Uh, uh, <laughs> the details aren't exact. The the details of hard retention. Aren't exactly in place yet, but yes, no, that that is definitely a an elastic strap that yes. snaps back in five minutes on a box. Snaps back in place. The idea, the idea behind it is to educate more than chastise, because not everyone who walks through the door is going to know what the, the, the limitations and the standard uses of all these tools. And as Pamela, we want to educate people, not chastise. Not tell you, you know, don't do that. More tell you, educate you as to why you shouldn't do that or why you can't do that. It, essentially, it's to keep you from hurting yourself or hurting the tool. Rob's got his hand no. up there, and he looks like he's about to say something chastising. I thought, <laughs> you know, I thought he was stretching. No, I was going to say, uh, I know we've got a couple of different places around the lab, but on those same cards, the QR code, the donation page, yeah, to make it easy. Yeah. So, okay, I'm not going. I don't feel comfortable buying the new blades for the bandsaw, but let me scan real quick, throw ten dollars to the note of towards wear and tear on the bandsaw. So if the blade needs to be replaced, it can be replaced. If it needs a new pulley wheel, it can be a new pulley wheel, stuff like that. It is just especially working retail. If you make it as easy as possible for people to do it, it gets done a lot better. So it's one of those I know we've got the QR code in the lobby and there's one in the later room. But once the QR code is made, having on every tag like that, just helps to remind people going like, oh, you know what, I, I've used it for like three hours, so I can throw five bucks. Yeah. It, it's I mean, great it doesn't hurt. Do you have to do QR code to the wiki for each tool? Yes, that's one of the ideas. And we need to start maybe organizing wiki days for the wiki out of the wiki. Yeah, because we'll let's see if you can touch that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you put the code on there, then people will probably actually update them. Because they'll actually know how to use it. Yep. Sure. Awesome idea. Okay. Uh, yeah, thanks for, thanks for all the ideas. That is greatly appreciated. So, I believe that brings us to the, to the off slug version. Uh, is anybody going to ride the off slug? Yeah, I, um, with the new dust collection until that goes in, please, please, please remember to look after yourself out in the warehouse as well as throughout the entire rest of the lab. That means when you get uh, power tools, make sure you wash it, if you scoop up afterwards if they generate lots of dust um, or metal shavings or anything else. Um, if you use dishes, great, that's why we have them, please wash them. Um, if you see stuff dry on the drain board, put it away. Um, trash goes in the trash can, of course. And if the trash can's full, please take it out. We've got a great dumpster right outside. Um, bags usually live underneath the sink or in the warehouse. Um, we have no staff. I know you do this every month, but um, it's only as nice as you make it. So please chip in a little bit and make it out. Uh, be excellent to each other. Uh, there's cleaning supplies stashed um, around the lab so that they're all within semi huge. They're in all of the bathrooms, um, they're in the warehouse. And if anything needs to be stopped in the stand, you can see them all in paper towels after you get up. Please let us know in the Ops and Management channel. Or buy it. Exactly. This is a member run, member funded organization. Yeah. We're really low on Twitter. I think we have like half a roll right now. <coughs> we have the emergency oh, stuff that really someone brought in, but I think we need to like do a little <laughs> drilling through the through the the door to get on the screen. We still got paper towels in the room. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, you jump flushing. No, using this. paper towels. <laughs> 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 and that's it's really a big thing. Like, yes, we we as Family Lab sometimes occasionally do 
buy the paper towels, toilet paper, and other things like that. But anything that we as Family Lab buy is buying it with your own, with your membership money. Like we are 100% funded by members. And if you want to buy a pallet of toilet paper, the lab will probably be able to give you a tax receipt for that. Yeah, and you can donate. And if you want to buy a pallet of toilet paper, please let us know first so we can figure out where to put it. There, there's, a, there's a document. The donation size requirements. What's that? Does that violate the donation size requirements? Let us wood. know ahead of time so we can find space for the pallet of shit paper. Four foot by four foot by four foot by four foot by four Thank you for volunteering. <laughs> so, so, you know, all, all the funds that, that the lab spends on paper towels and cups and other things like that is money that we don't have to spend on new tools, on other things that need to get replaced at some point. And also keeping our, our funds in case there is an issue where we actually need additional money. So it, we have we do keep a small amount of money back, but if we're paying for everything else, that money dwindles. If we pay for toilet paper, we're not paying for replacement belts for the lazy. Yeah. So, um, Part time. Yep. Now, speaking of making awesome things like toilet paper alternatives, <laughs> um, open make days are every other are the second and fourth Tuesday, so last week and next week. Come out, um, make some awesome stuff. If you have questions, talk to people and get ideas for how to finish or continue working on your project. Um, it's a great time for new members and prospectives to get testimonials and become, well, part of the community. It's uh, I'll, I'll toss them into the fifth Tuesday as well, if there is one. We left that one open as... It, it's <laughs> more of a general for anybody. Yes. Tuesday, people here on Tuesday. Just, Tuesdays, just on, Tuesdays. on which nothing else is happening, is open make. Yep. If there's not an open house or a member meeting, come make shit. So, um, anyone have anything to show and tell this week? Blackheart? Well, I'm not done yet. <laughs> Anybody <laughs> other <yes>. than Blackheart <laughs> right now? <laughs> I started painting the room in my house, and now it's down to the studs. Wait, you were painting, <laughs> and now it's down to the studs? What racist? What the hell? Is this a racist paint? No, uh, so I started a project a while back in my house, and every step I've made along this path has led me to take more stuff off the wall. And now I'm down to the studs. Including the wall. Okay. Including the wall, yes. It's a process. <laughs> it's like the Malcolm in the Middle uh, bit where you know he's changing a light bulb, then he finds out the ladder's wobbly, exactly. then he finds out there's a loose spark yeah. plug. Yeah. I thought you were changing a light bulb. I am. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right, Blackheart. What do you have to show and tell? Right. Well, clearly, the most important thing is I hate the sign. I like the sign. I saw the sign. While he's getting the sign, I spent about 80 hours no, making, making like 400 wall. pieces of plaster art. Where are they? They're drying right now. I saw them. They looked really good. <laughs> did the children enjoy them? They did. Okay, I had two more days. I saw someone suggest that box recently. Off from like, uh, it was good. It was right inside the door in Home Depot. It's like it's 25 bucks. Yeah. It's actually not bad. There's a sign. So, I ran out of time finishing the electronics and things I've learned along the way. Add more clearances to your parts because paint is a thing. Um, all right, turn it off now. So, assembly has been difficult. However, wow. I, showed, I showed it and then turned it off. No, it was not. <laughs> what so, the hell? The electro this is about eight pounds. Um, I need to, first thing is, I've noticed I cut these slightly short. I need the wires on these. Does it actually work? Saves them too long. No, I was still in the process of soldering um, as of can't believe two, two hours ago. Wrong. So, I can kind of open this up maybe. 
No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but I there's saw a, it looks really cool. There's a mess of wires in there and things. Getting to the, okay. This is actually 3D printed, so this is PTG. Um, the actual back half here is like four <coughs> sections epoxy together. Um, this is a section, these are two sections epoxy together. A lot of these are screwed together um, with like a laser cut acrylic for diffusers. There's going to be, the muzzle will glow. It's got an LED ring in this um, barrel band as well as um, NeoPixel rings in the front that will shoot forward. The beam down the center line will actually glow because there's a pair of NeoPixel jewels firing back and forth across with a rice paper diffuser. Um, the top bit will glow. And I do have a pistol grip where you have a button on the back for changing the color and a button for firing and there are speakers in there for sound effects. Um, I'm still in the process of wiring. So this is mostly assembled. I still need to like glue and it's loose in a few places like that. claw keeps swinging loosely. But this is 90% done. It is amazing is what it is. 90% done and I'm really heavy. Do you have a blog post to go with it? I will do when it's glowing. I want to take photos of it actually working first. But um, lots of lessons learned in terms of designing proper clearances and uh, wiring pads and things like that. Hi! Can Rob or I play shelf in your photo shoot? Sure. I want to do the cake. Are you going to do the boots and everything? I will wear whatever you tell me. That's how the stickers. Actually, no shelf. I actually got to, custom trying to get it to show up when they are. Well, and and they could I got custom stickers yeah. made for it, so I could actually have like the Africa logo and stuff. But how long have you been working on it? This has been since before Maker Faire. This has taken far too long. Um, yes, we Jamie do. asked, does it emit? Does, 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 this is fair. <laughs> Jamie <laughs> asked, does it emit deadly neurotoxin? Not yet. That's a good idea. <laughs> I mean, it's not GLaDOS. My Jamie, list. are you able to uh, Come get talk us? to the bio people. <laughs> <laughs> And this is just foam control. It just helps. Um, are any the other thing I've learned is the next thing I'm doing is going to be like a little noisy cricket from Men in Black or something. It's not going to be this big. <laughs> and how do you expect to put on the really products in something that tiny? Uh, well, it just needs like an LED, really. It just needs to go out. It's it's work. Work. I mean, I could stick a little speaker in there, like a foam size you, speaker. You, you, you can use like an AT Tiny or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Arduino <laughs> nanos are fine. I really need you can use an AT Tiny, which is even smaller. Is it? And a port just, to do that, an AT. just to do the uh, yeah. pixel. That's all you need. You use a, is a uh, SOA uh, AT Tiny. You need to use a dead bug wire from our back. But to do the audio thing, you have to find your. If I wanted to be fully functional with sounds and like color lighting and everything, yeah. So but probably like the a, easiest way to do that would literally just be to have the trigger switch break the connection to the LED so it just blinks. So I love that Brian was just making a damn joke about this. <laughs> 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 I'm so damn serious about it. Have you not noticed how many things I make? <laughs> oh. We can probably see that. And everyone's probably seen it by now, but this was in between the last two meetings. That was for the party. Baby Yoda show. Where, where's the evil baby Yoda? Over there. <laughs> I guess I can put it in front of Alright. Thank you, Blackheart. Oh, this whole tiny evil. Thank, Thank you for printing them. Thank you, yes, I do. I make far too many things. <laughs> so we did that was, tw we did the mini painting class on what, like, at 29? And that evening you suggested, hey, you should do a manger size one. So it was 28 hours of printing, and then two hours of painting just before the Christmas party. Uh, <laughs> and you remember not to do the watch this time. No, I did a little bit of shading, but it looks better when it's subtle and big instead of uh, evil. Can you use the mobile? Is yeah. It? Which actually has like a nice, nice snow effect. It's not the best paint job, but the two hours I'm pretty happy. The eyes follow you. That should be the show. Huh? Baby Yoda show. Yay. And maybe next month it'll be done. Okay. Um, anybody else for a show and show? Okay. That's the um, chat. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, upcoming events. Yep. So we've got a bunch of upcoming events. Uh, we've got the land party, along with everything else, on February 1st. 
Um, we've got the wood, wood burning class on January 25th. Uh, we've got open house the first Tuesday of every month. This month it'll be, or next month, it'll be on the 4th. Uh, we've got Learn to Solder and Laser 101 also on the 1st. Uh, the board meeting will be on the 8th. Uh, virtual. virtual board meeting. You don't even have to come here if you want to participate in the you can throw it up on the projector if you want. I'm see. just imagining mentioning the Jedi Council and all the holograms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you so probably do that in VR chat, actually. That's basically Thank you know. what those ones are Thank like. Thank you, volunteering. <laughs> <laughs> all design holograms, that's what I'll do. We have our own dedicated uh, Anakin. Oh, he sits in there. Hidden, right? You're our Anakin. I'm still looking at that. Oh, okay. Yes. How do you feel about saying? Please don't kill us all. No, it's because you just got green carded, so welcome to the dark side. <laughs> Are you official now? Yes. I can no longer wow. be picked out for Oh, you can. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, just, it's, just, it's just harder. Right? <laughs> Anybody can be picked out for the Congratulations. And everybody is happy. Woo! <laughs> Have you had the bitter tattoo for a while? Yeah. Yeah, it goes into the other tattoo. Those are two. Are you going to get an American flag tattoo now? So in a couple of months, for a show and tell, I'm going to hold back. Not <laughs> left bunch. What are the what are the things in the we laser that you get started? No food in the laser. <laughs> <laughs> I like to give you a quiz. Skin tattoo. I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> well, they were all. Not that I blame you. We're all made of meat. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Does okay. it count as food if we're we vegetarian at the time? I, I think we cut that. <laughs> I think that we've gotten You're off vegetarian. track. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I can count it. Well, we're we back to the use of vegetarian. We haven't finished the ops part yet. Oh, um, that's. More events include the Lichtenberg meetup on March 14th and the next monthly meeting, one a month from today on February 18th. Uh, we've got lots of recurring events such as the AWS server introduction every Sunday. Every Wednesday, we've got Microsoft Server Technology Workshop and Cisco Networking. Uh, Fridays are embedded microcontrollers for beginners. Uh, you've already heard about the second and fourth Tuesday's open make night, but I'm going to tell you about it again, so come to open make night, it's awesome. Um, then third Saturdays or so are, is the Electron Microscope Workday, where we're slowly building the parts to build the parts to fix the Electron Microscope. <laughs> um, and the fourth Monday of every month is the Monthly Modular and Synth Meetup, the next one being on February 15th. Um, and the fourth Thursday is also Security Night, DC 407, however, that will be held at the Location to be determined. Yeah. Check the calendar. Check the Slack channel. Yeah, check the <coughs> relevant Slack channel and uh, their website, right? Yeah. Okay. And now back to the board. So that brings us to the testimonials, and as Craig always spoiled it for everybody, <laughs> we don't have any right now. So uh, I want the right one real quick. Right. Uh, but then that brings us on to the uh, to the uh, new members. So uh, we may have a couple here. I think one is uh, virtual. Do we want to do that one? Does anybody know a uh, Mark Brackney? Okay, great. Yeah. Uh, put that through better speaker. Let me try. Maybe through the meeting hour. Hour. All right. Uh, Mark, can you go ahead and uh, speak? See if I hear you. It's not very loud. Very low. It was a bit quiet. Try again real quick.
Our teacher! Welcome Woo! back! <laughs> Welcome back to Florida. It's warmer than usual, you know this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All about perspective. <laughs> I, uh, I actually, I didn't realize who, who it was uh, on there, but I, I took Mark's welding class. It was very good. So thank you for the welding class in the past. Are you writing him a testimonial right now? Oh, <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> He's taught excellent welding classes, and we really appreciate him, and we're welcoming him back. Yes. So that's two testimonials. All he needs is a third one. Say, write, write one for me, and I'll sign it. What? No, you write one. That's how it works. <laughs> Hey Mark, should be the welding useful. area yeah. needs some uh, adjustment. Are you willing to help with the planning and adjustment of the welding area given the new pallet rack and uh, storage situations? Yeah. Awesome. Yay! Yay! Yeah, All right. All right. Uh, is there any questions? No. I don't think there's any questions for you. So, thank you. We already know you. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. So then we've got a a Michael Muir. Is there anybody else who is a new member? Uh, someone who's being annoyed about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, well, it's too late now. You, <laughs> she next month. <laughs> no, no, no. We'll get to that. We're, uh, that. That's fine. We can we, we can we can do it post facto. Uh, so, uh, would you like to introduce yourself to everybody? My name is Are you, in fact, just a druid? 
Well, so you, you've you've brought children with you. Yes. How old are you, both of you? Sixteen. Fourteen. All right. Are you going to be bringing them with you? Sometimes. It's Please introduce yourself. Oh, I see. Why not? Was that a Yes. Wait. Oh, I'm missing one. I'm missing four. I am not part of this. No. <laughs> so first off, what are your names? Uh, Brandon. Ezra. Hi, Brandon. Ezra. Hi, Ezra. Uh, what is it that you find interesting here? What is it you want to learn or do here? Uh, I want to do the knife making class. And okay. And, uh, when I use the welder and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, and also the laser for you. Because last time I was <laughs> It's you didn't right. focus it. That <laughs> wasn't, wasn't the only problem. Jeez. It wasn't, but you didn't focus it. Children. Children over here. We're talking to these ones. Okay. Wow. There's a laser class. Very upset. Yeah. And you. <laughs> Brandon. I've never heard of this place, and I always think I was dragged along. Okay, <laughs> we, we, we have the tools for everything, or the tools to make the tools for everything. Is there anything that you want to learn how to make? He cool. Knows, he knows a lot about this stuff, so I brought him with me to like a kind of guide. Awesome. Video, um, yeah. Brandon, <laughs> he like builds computers and all kinds of. He's, you know, 
I took you, you, you will, you will fit in fine. Oh, didn't you like seven? Yeah. Yeah, I took a part of DVD player when I was Well, the question I got is, if you took, get, took apart the first thing when you were five, when was the first thing you took apart and put back together yeah. successfully? <laughs> or at least a DVD player when I was six. <laughs> Wait, right. you took it apart when you were five and put it back no, together was, when you I were three six? I had three of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I had three of them. It took him a year to put I destroyed the other one. I took it apart, couldn't tell. I didn't know what to do with it. And then the other one I just threw across the wall. Is that going to be a thing you have to like? Rewind when you're done watching. Yeah, yeah, you have to spin it backwards. Make, make so, sure you rewind your DVDs. Yeah, spin back to the disc. <laughs> Be kind, <laughs> rewind. It really well well there. There. <laughs> it did. For a short while. Yes. You know what the save icon Milk and nerds. <laughs> With the picture of the save icon is. All right. Okay. Thank I you for introducing. About that later. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you did not fill out waivers for them, uh, I need to fill those out before we do anything else. Oh, she was. They were here the other day, so right. she. If they haven't been filled out, still has to be filled out. If not, we're good. But, but Brandon is also in the group. You have to be in the group. Yeah. And I'm uh, invited parents to the next open house. Awesome. Thank you. Or come out for the open events. Those are all open to the public. Or come out for the data. Yeah. Those are open to public too, yeah. if they want to help. It's probably less interesting. That's how I got there. I don't know. You'll never figure out what we're talking about there. It's pretty interesting when you're going through all the stuff and finding things. Yeah. Who left the enormous bag full of DVDs on the pallet rack? <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> that sounds exciting. Those are good for fire. Yeah, so, are they so with a with a, uh, a grinder, an ink grinder, you can spin those up really nice and fast, and they can actually fly across the room. Or just Usually in yeah. It's like a well, very I mean, dangerous Beyblade. <laughs> it's really fun. <laughs> Actually, if they if they don't end up getting claimed, they're probably going to bring them and donate them to the Winnipeg Thank you. We should, we should, we Check we should what's on them so first. <laughs> 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 That. Yeah, sure? As far as we know. <laughs> None of them on the top layer are pornographic <laughs> covers. <laughs> okay. No, sure. None of the ones on the top it, layer have pornographic covers. <laughs> <laughs> so you take it and play it. You don't know. I, th I think this we're getting off topic. It's not off track. Uh, so, any any other questions for for Debbie, Brandon, or Ezra? Okay. Well, thank you. Thanks for coming out and introducing. Yay. Yay. Is there anybody else who needs to introduce? Oh, my name is Chris Di Marino. I'm a software engineer. <laughs> okay. Well, two strikes down. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I like to take this, so, I, mean, um, I like to get in the metal work and get into it when I was younger, but I don't have to do it when I get back into that. Uh, so, what is it you doing? Rich, be more nice. He craved his milk for you. <laughs> oh, is this, are we on the wrong thing? Yeah. I found it, maybe. Okay, okay. okay. So you said metalworking stuff. You want to get back into it. What kind of metalworking stuff are we talking about? Um, I didn't do, never did welding or anything. Okay. But just, you know, just, I mean, well, I did a little bit of welding. So, mm -hmm. um, my brother was a shop teacher. So we used to, I used to go in and find a pair of metal. And we would shop in metal shop. I always preferred the metal shop. So, I don't know, just nothing to pick up, just kind of nice play around. Just to put my body in my body. Well, there's a few here. And I, I mess around with like uh, electronics, so like with the dead devices and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, what is your, what is the first project you want to make here? I don't know, honestly. Because um, I just, we were talking the other night, and Craig texted me saying, hey, there's a meeting, come on down. So, I figured, okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, how long have you been on Craig? Uh, we've been playing hockey together. Yeah, a little bit here. Yeah. Who beats up food? What's that? Who beats up food the most? Uh, food is sturdy. Which is our esteemed goalie and person uh, we protect with our lives. <laughs> Not very good, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, so you guys have so to help so me with yeah. the um, teaching everyone else here how to skate. Because they all want to learn how to skate. Everyone wants to learn. All right. Yeah. Sweet. So, there's yeah. about three of you to help. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, Jamie went away, but she has a picture. Oh, you can say you're a And you go along with that. How many spaces are a tab? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, but which one? Oh, usually spaces. We do develop it for the railroad industry. We do something for locomotives. Um, <coughs> we close things for it. So it's a good one. Language of choice? What's that? Language of choice. Oh, so it's C. <coughs> At least you're not using Haskell or something like that. Yeah. 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 Well, that's going to change. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you what do you spend what do you spend all your time on? And that's pretty much my life right now. He's driving him all over the state to play. <laughs> so hockey is your fandom. I'm looking for something for uh, for me to have some time to get him a little bit more well rounded. There's all the kids that play hockey, which is my fault. <laughs> now, but, has he have you thought about figure skating? Oh no. <laughs> No, funny thing is, right. to be a better skater, we tried to use him to coach uh, lessons as a figure skater. Yep. Who coaches every other hockey player at the rink, and he refuses to go. Where do you guys skate? Where? Yeah, uh, RDB. Hmm? <laughs> I believe there's only like There's other rinks in the No, there's a couple. Are there? Are there? Yeah, there's, there's, uh, there's, 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 there's Kissimmee, Daytona, those are the next two closest to ones, but they suck. Yeah. 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 Well, I don't like. Okay, so. <laughs> We're getting <laughs> off track. <laughs> Again. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> Any other questions for Rich? Rich. 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 Cool. Thank you. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. Yay! Yay. 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 So we know how to spell your name. So, anyone else here to introduce? <laughs> I think that's it. Yep. Okay. So then we have a few people, actually several people, looks like to have completed the process. Uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, Gabrielle Rosario. Uh, he's not here. He's not here. Okay, uh, Kristen Nunez. Yay. Yay! And Lorena Nunez. Yay! Yay. And uh, Ray Lynn. Not here. Okay. Yay! Yay. Yay. <laughs> awesome. So we should have her back. Right <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so the people <laughs> names that we just named off, you'll get an email after the meeting explaining how to set up payment and how to finalize your thing. And once payment's set up and payment is applied, God, I work too much in accounting. <laughs> uh, once, once the payment's set up and going, we'll activate your temporary badge for the front door. So you will then have 24 seven unsupervised access so help you God, um, and then we'll work on getting your realty badge. And for the ones who just introduced tonight, uh, please see Lily before you leave to make sure you get a temporary badge. I might have to print some, so it might be a minute. Okay. Um, I have to get the end of the maybe this Saturday I'll be here <coughs> and get you a temporary badge at that. Okay. And we'll, we'll, we'll sort it out in some way. Yeah. Okay. And this is pretty much the end of the meeting, so we're not that kind of. Does anybody else have anything they would like to add on the record? Okay. I love you, Dave. <laughs> oh, just quick heads up. Uh, the next day for warehouse adjustments is Friday. Yeah, it looks like Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday, so if anyone wants to give a hand or putting their input on while we're moving stuff. There is no oh, it's in my car now. Yeah. Um, the Jeez. land party is Saturday. Yeah. Um, it is, 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 is,
Family's tolerant, not family friendly. Public school or private school? No, it'll be fine. Close school. One home school. It's a social experience. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anything else before we close out the meeting? Thank you, thank you all for coming. Thank you. Okay, love you. Bye bye.